building on Christ. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. And the word of the Lord says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I have laid in Zion for a foundation a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Now, Isaiah comes up with a concept of laying up the stone. Now, when you look at Isaiah and you look at the historical background of the Isaiah chapter 28, Isaiah lived in 700 BC before Jesus Christ was born. But with this concept, he was able to tell us what foundation it's all about. Not only the foundation, he also says that he laid down in Zion. That's very specific. In Zion, the stone was laid. And this stone, as you're going to discover from the book of 1 Corinthians, is a symbol of Jesus Christ. Because in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, it says, Other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So in the mind of the prophet of God, as he was writing in a prophetic sense, he was looking forward to the work of Jesus Christ, who is going to be the cornerstone, the foundation upon which Christians are going to build up their houses. Now, when you look at when Isaiah was talking, Isaiah probably didn't understand it very well, but you and I can now fully understand why, because the prophetic word of Isaiah was actually fulfilled when Jesus Christ came into this world. Now, when you look at about the concept of the foundation, foundation, it is one of the, one of the part of the house that actually sustain the house in order for the house to be firmly established. Now, what's the house it's all about? It has to do with our lives. We are the ones that are building upon the foundation. And each one of us, the Bible says, that when you're building upon the sure word of foundation or the word of God, then your house in the time of trouble, in the time of wind and tempest, when the trial shall come to your house, your house will be able to stand firmly. Now, the question may, may be asked, how do I then build upon this foundation? Now, the foundation, which is Christ Jesus, we are to build upon this foundation as we study the character of Jesus Christ, as we live day in and day out according to the word of God, as we accept him by faith and we walk according to, according to his word. Acts chapter, chapter 4, verse 12, the Bible says, There is no any other name under the sun given to men that we should be saved from this name. Now, God, out of his grace and out of his love, he has made it possible for you and I to be able to build our houses, which is life construction that we need to put upon this foundation. And what I'm trying to explain to you is very simple. Jesus is the foundation, is the rock. And the Bible says clearly that Jesus is the word of God, according to John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning there was a word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So Christ, who is the foundation, is the word. Now, there's no way that we can separate the house from the foundation. So as we build day in and day out, as you choose to follow Christ, your life is actually being inscripted or written down in the book of heaven. And God, when he comes to judge us, is going to look at your life and look at also the life of Jesus Christ, who is the foundation of the word of God. And he's going to see whether your life is actually giving an evidence that a God, a Jesus, was able to lead you as you live one day at a time in this life. May God bless you as we continue to examine scripture.